Hello Sandworks users and Rapid Weaver users. This is my second video and I will uh, explain you how to implement uh, the free CGI shopping cart system from Data Logica, Data Logica in English into Sandfox 2. Notice that it is for Sandfox 2, the version 2, released by Corelia this month in May. Okay, uh, I've set up, like before, a simple website in Sandfox, this time in Sandfox 2. And as you can see, it's a home page, a sample page, page a sh shop link, and a view card. Let's start here. I will zoom in a little bit. Um, you have to add an empty text without a sidebar. Okay. When you have done that, it is this page and it's called Untitled. Now, we, you can rename it Shop. Now type in here, so no raw HTML, type in, as I did, main content with the brackets and a space here. Okay, that's uh, also case sensitive, so be sure it's okay. Now open the inspector and look at this page. Uh, nothing is checked. The appearance is no sidebar and no page title. Be sure, no page title, no sidebar. And here, nothing checked. This I didn't change. No logo. It's a demo website. And uh, you can put your name here at the author. So, that's it. But down below, let's zoom in. Put here your full URL, um, slash, and then shop here. Okay. Now you're uh, for a little bit, uh, you're finished. The second part is insert two external pages. Well, go above to new, and now an external page. Insert this as a link. You will see it's also entitled. I will delete it. And um, I will explain you what you have to do. Okay. Zoom out. So insert an external page. Let's go to the right side of my screen. And let's take a look at the inspector. Did not change anything here, it's okay, but in this um, tab, you can see that this, uh, these are all checked. So, and the menu is a shop, because you want that you have that uh, link in your menu. At appearance, be sure there's no sidebar. You don't need a sidebar there. So, that's for the shop, and the shop is a link, you can see it here, and the link you will put down below, and this you put your domain name, and your CGI or CGI hyphen bin, and then cart.cgi. Now, I will explain now the view card. The external page. You want view card because the, your customer can go directly to their card. It's a, a must-have link. So on the right side you will see that these three are also checked and I have in the menu the name view card. The appearance, no sidebar, and on this tab, I didn't do anything, no logo, no author. It's just a demo for this video. However, I have uploaded this website to the internet. 
So I will show you the internet and I open Safari. Um, this is the show, this is the site. Uh, a view card. And when I click on continue shopping, I will go uh, directly to product search. Here I have my categories. I can search by keyword and I also can click on display all products. They will see all my pro products what I have. I will explain later that you can change this if you want and in uh, because this video will be quite long I have to split it in uh, two so be sure that you uh, also will see the second video. Okay. I will open here the card config file. This you can find find in the zip file in your uh, download, and uh, open it with a text editor. I use now TextMate, but there is also Smultron and other uh, uh, editors. First, upload this file to your server and change mode that means schmod change mode the settings to 755 now go then immediately to your website sometimes it can be also like this or sometimes they you can put CGI directly like this okay with this path.cgi you will be able to see all your path needed for the shopping cart. I will scroll down a little bit lower. Everything what you need to know is in fact amped into the script. So when it says name of your site or store, just replace this. Okay, I will zoom out a little. Let's take a look down below. This is what I was uh, meant. I've wrote this only here now. Two examples below. Note, you can only use one continue shopping URL. Why is that? Well, you cannot have both. <coughs> Sorry. This is now what you have been seen and what I have made in the aqua design in Sandfox. But you can also add this line. And I will zoom in a little. Now you are telling the program, you give it an action to search in a category and all products. Let's take a look now. And later on we go further with the card config.pl uh, file. <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, here it is, Safari. Okay, here when I click on Shop, you will see this, and I uh, click on View Card, it says Continue Shopping. Now just take a look here above in the address bar. Continue Shopping is just only card.cgi. Okay. Now let's take a look at the other website. Let's say I go to view card. Look at here. Action is view card, that's the link. But now I want to uh, to click on shop. No, 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 sorry. Click on continue shopping. And you see that it will show all products. So here is the action as in the card config.pl file. So if you want that, let's say uh, I'm on the example page, I will explain later in the next video about this, <coughs> then you can, um, how do I say that? Well, let's take a look first here. View card, empty or no, examples, and I click on shop, immediately you see this. When I go here to the other website, sample page, and I click on shop, 
it will give me a choice so I can click on t-shirts and search it only display the t-shirts you see this so that's uh, that's up to you what you prefer these two are in fact possible uh, as a continue shopping link so let's delete this one okay the photo URL here is where your photos go your all your product photos it must be web accessible so uh, in Unix server 777 and the same for the HTML uh, pages these are all your uh, product pages in the folder HTML and uh, it must be 772 these are path well this you need with the path.cgi so every server is different upload the path.cgi as I told before we'll go again to the top let's take a look this one and then uh, leave it open uh, in your web browser so that you can copy and paste the path in this file now we go to the path again notice that the uh, that this part sorry this part are all URLs and these are all paths so be sure that you do it the same as I did and never an ending slash here this is your template file and as you can see here uh, the same name as in sandfox here is where your photos go the HTML and these are paths later on I will more explain about the card config uh, file now let's take a look this is also for later and um, in sandfox okay it's not opening now so what's the matter okay um, so this is in fact the template file and this is the URL next video I will explain you more about uh, the card config.pl file uh, add payments, uh, delete payments and I uh, hope to see you uh, not see but <laughs> that you can view this video again till next time